here today, Fun With Baby Alive, and if you are not subscribed to them, definitely go subscribe to them. They are amazing. They inspire me a lot. Um, they made a video about their story, well, like the mom did, about her story of like their, like how they have like, why they have baby lives, why they like them, why they play with them and stuff like that. And they said to like make a video about it if you wanted to do it yourself. So of course I want to because I'm a very big fan of them and I'd like to share my story because after hearing theirs, I was very inspired and like they're just very inspirational people. So let's get on to my story of like why I like baby lives and dolls and stuff. Like, <laughs> why I like dolls and like things like that. So when I was younger, I loved baby dolls. Like, um, I always played with them and like stuff. And I've just always loved dolls and like stuff like that. I had like so many dolls growing up. I can't even like count how many there were. I don't remember all their names, but I remember most of them. But like, I'm not gonna go into too much detail because there are a lot of them. <laughs> but a lot of them I still have actually. Most of them are in my attic though. Anyways, so I used to have like, I had a ton of dolls when I was little and I loved them. And when I was five, I got my first baby alive and I'm I'm not for sure how I found out about them, but I'm pretty sure it was on a commercial. The first baby alive that I got was Lucille and she's the Wet Summer Goes Doll from 2006 and I was five at the time. And I'm pretty sure I saw a commercial of her and I was like, whoa, that's so cool because I love baby dolls and like I'd never had one that you could actually feed and stuff that would actually like use a diaper and like go to the bathroom and you could change it. So I was like, I really want this doll. So I got it, I think, for my birthday that year and I was so excited and I even remember that um, I, fe I was feeding her one time and then she like, I didn't have her diaper on and she like rainbow peed onto my aunt. <laughs> it's so funny. I don't think she remembers that, but I do. It's those little things you remember. And so, um, yeah, that was really funny. And so I loved Lucille so much. And then I used to have these things called aqua beads, which are very similar to, they were beetos, but like they were like chemically and stuff and like kids were swallowing them and they got recalled. There's been many different variations of beetos and they've been recalled. I don't know why Beatos are allowed. Like if all the other ones that are just the same as Beatos have been recalled, but anyways, I love them and we have them. But like, so they got recalled at the time and they were made by Hasbro. And this was also in 2006. And so I was like sad that we had to let them go because you know, like I love my aqua beads or I think they were aqua beads. There are many variations. Um, kept getting recalled. So, they were like, you could just get your a refund or you could trade it in for another one of our toys. So I was looking on their website with my mom because like, you know, gotta surf the internet with your mom when you're five. <laughs> and um, so we were looking on their website to be like, do we want the money back or do I want another toy? And like, as a five-year-old kid, I was like, I want another toy, obviously. Because if I get the money, I'm just gonna wanna buy another toy with it. So we were looking on their website and I saw Liam and I was like, Lucille needs a twin brother. Like he is so cute and um, little did I know that would be the only boy baby alive ever, so I'm very glad I got him. But like we traded him in because of the recalled product. So I uh, he got like shipped to my house and I was so excited to have my twins. And like my sister helped me pick out the names for literally all of my dolls. And yeah, so she said it should rhyme with Lucille, or, like have the same letter as Lucille. So like we always thought for a long time like what we should name and then we picked Liam obviously. <laughs> but um, it also took a while to pick the name Lucille. I don't even know how we came up with that, but yeah. And the way I spell it is the way my sister taught me to spell it a long time ago, but that's not the way you spell it, because we didn't know how to spell it. She was only seven, so like we didn't know how to do that. So that's why her name is spelled weird. But yeah, I like it. Anyways, so like that's how I got Lucille and Liam. And then, um, later on that year, I found out about Emma through a commercial. So I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. A potty, like, that's awesome, because it was like, the diapers, like, I would throw mine away back then because like, you know, I didn't know to reuse them. I was only five and like my mom didn't want to have to keep buying the refill packs. And I was like, a oh, potty, perfect. We can just use that. And uh, I think I used to feed them on my real potty. I'd only feed them water back then. I didn't have the juice packets or anything. Or I didn't know about like coloring the water the way I do now. Um, but like, so I found about, out about Emma and so I got her. I think probably for Christmas. I also got her in 2006. Um, I got like all my baby lives back then. 
And so I got them and I loved them. They were my they were my family, my little family. I had Emma, my three year old. She was three back then, I made her three. And then Lucille and Liam, my one year old twins. And we were just a great little family. And then we got Caitlin. I got her for my friend in 2008. I was turning seven, it was for my birthday. She gave her to me. And um, she's really cute. I, I, I know my friend who she gave it to me. And yeah. And um, I actually did spell Caitlin differently on her like bracelet because you can write on their bracelet. But I like the way I spell it now better. But it doesn't matter. But I kept her name Caitlin because like if I named her Caitlin when I was seven, I feel like I should keep it. Same with Lucille and Liam and Emma. Like I cannot bring myself to change those names. Even if I wanted to, I just can't bring myself to do it. But yeah, so like those are my first baby lives. And then like I love those things. I would play family. Like I used to have my nursery in my room a long time ago. Up until fourth grade. And then I got rid of it like sometime in fourth grade. But um, I kind of stopped playing with dolls in fourth grade. And I don't really know why. I think like all my friends were growing out of them and I was like, oh, like if everyone's gonna think I'm weird for like playing with them, like maybe I shouldn't play with them and like, you know? So I just kind of like lost interest in my dolls and we ended up selling my Biddy, my American Girl Biddy twins who I named Morgan and Marcus, they were the blonde ones. And I really regret it now because I love them and I miss them a lot and I really want them back. But, um, so like, I was like done with dolls. We were gonna sell, we were trying to sell my American Girls Kit and Lainey and I'm so glad they didn't sell because I, I love them. And again, I miss Morgan and Marcus. And my sister helped me pick those names too. She literally helped me pick all my dolls names. <laughs> and like, so I was like done with dolls in fourth grade. But then one day, I think, yeah, I was in sixth grade. In my YouTube recommended, I had my channel then. In my YouTube recommended came a video for I think I was into Reborns then, like I didn't have one, but I would always look at videos. And then one day, this video showed up on my recommended for from Fun With Baby Live, and I was like, oh, and I would watch the videos. I would just click on a bunch of random ones, you know, when you get lost watching videos, I would do that. I wouldn't subscribe. Every day after school, I'd come home, look up their channel, and watch a bunch of their videos. And I, I wouldn't subscribe. But then, one day, I was just like, I've watched so many of these videos, I love them, like, I'm gonna subscribe so I did and then I was like you know what I used to have baby loves when I was little I know I did so I went and found them they were in my attic and I found them and I was so happy to have found them and um, so fun with baby life inspired me to start playing with them again because without her I wouldn't have my channel and all my fans well I would have my channel but I wouldn't have all my fans and like have my channel go in the direction it is now but um, so she really inspired me to get my dolls back and then, of course, I got more because, like, I wanted to be up to date and have more babies and stuff, of course, because all mine were from 2006 and 2008. So, like, they were, they're really old. <laughs> and they're all still in perfect condition. Like, a few, like, little, like, love marks, you know, like, a few, like, s like s scratches, I guess. But, like, other than that, they're, like, in perfect working condition, which I was very surprised about. And I still have all of their, like, stuff. Like, which is so weird. But, like, um, so, like, Fun with Baby Live inspired me to do that. And I actually, I still like dolls today. And I think part of that is because, like, I always have loved dolls. And also, ever since I was little, I've loved real babies. Like, toddlers and, like, little kids. I love little kids, like, so much. And little kids love me, too. So, like... I think that also contributes to why I still like dolls today because it gives me that feeling of being a mother and like actually being with like a real child and I love being with little kids so it, I think it gives me that feeling and I like that which is probably why I still like dolls and stuff like that so which is also why I think I'll like Reborns more than Baby Lives when I get older because I mean Reborns are meant for more like older people and they are of course like more realistic well they are realistic and um Stuff, but you can't feed them but like they're still really great but yeah so that is basically my story of why I like play with baby lives why I like dolls and yes I am 14 and yeah I'm not really ashamed of that I mean don't like hide what you like to do it's what makes you you that was an awesome rhyming quote I don't know if anyone's ever said that before but right here I just said that so yeah, definitely, um, what was I going to say? I have no idea. Okay, so that was, like, my story of why I like dolls and, and like, things like that. So, 
yeah, thanks for watching. Please click like and subscribe. I hope Fun With Baby Alive sees this. And um, again, check out her channel. And in the comments, let me know. Um, I don't know, whatever you want.